I'm here at one of the entrances to the Edward Hunter Heritage Bush Reserve and just over here at the entrance there's this wonderful arch picnic area to enjoy and I thought this would be a fantastic spot to have a, another reading from our book Get the Cheese, Let the Other Mouse Go First. So I hope you enjoy that. Chapter 2. The early bird may get the worm but the second mouse gets the cheese. Anonymous. A story of two mice, a robin, a fruit company and a man called Stephen. You take a journey through the history of music and get a funny look at what really happened to inspire the creation of the iPod. Come and celebrate the cleverness and strategic thinking of the second mouse. Introduction Many times, it is not the trailblazers who get the glory. Apple wasn't the first to introduce the MP3 player. Yet Steve Jobs, as the later mouse, created one of the most successful products, the iPod. This wasn't luck. He did it by exciting key principles and actions. Principles and actions that you can take. This is the story of the eager early bird, Bella the Robin, and two contrasting mice, Lana, who's the voice of reason, and Milo, whose impatience often gets the better of him. But is he the first mouse? You go on a journey with them. What do they learn from their rush to be first and from observing the actions of others? Such as Brad the Starling and Mystic Whisper, the leopard-like bangle from the nearby farm. You'll take a journey through the history of music, understand why someone making a great MP3 player was always going to make a lot of money. You'll work through key principles used by Steve Jobs to make the iPod so successful. Plus, there are actionable steps to help you replicate the success achieved with the iPod. The second mouse is strong within you, young Padawan. The early bird may get the worm, but the second mouse gets the cheese. This quote highlights the difference between rushing in or taking a calculated approach. It's a lens for you to explore the choices you make in your life and in your business. Bella, the early bird. Purple hues break the pitch blackness of the night sky. The morning sky black lights the majestic silhouette of the Grand Oak. It stood forever in the heart of Thistlebrook Meadow. The horizon shifts to the morning oranges. Rays of warmth spread across the lush green fields. It's the start of another beautiful day. Gentle waves of light orange flow into Bella's treeside abode. The warmth caresses her as she slumbers. Her nest was woven with twigs, moss and soft feathers she'd collected over many days. The morning's warmth adds a deeper serenity to Bella's blissful dreams. A determined robin, Bella takes pride in her discipline and persistence. With bravado, she brushes off her friend's comments that she's stubborn. That's what it takes to succeed. Each night, her mind races. She remembers many challenges she's faced and overcome living in Thistlebrook Meadow. Before drifting off to visit the Sandman, the same thought runs through her mind. Setting her mind on something and sticking to it is persistence, and persistence is a good thing. Bella takes in her neat and organised little hollow inside the Grand Oak. With a soft smile, her eyes close, knowing that her way is the right way. The intensity of the morning, the intensity of the morning rays warms Bella's feathers. The rich red breastplate she wears shimmers. She stirs and opens her eyes, revealing a gleaming, dark gaze that mirrors her deep passion. It's a new day and the world outside beckons. Bella collects her thoughts. It will be a great day. After all, she is an early bird. The morning sun invigorates Bella. She listens to the morning. Leaves rustle. There's a trickle of the brook and the whispered conversations of creatures waking to greet the day. The tufted feathers atop her head move as she tilts it, stretching her wings and letting out a soft chirp. As much about readiness as it is about greeting the sun's golden rays. Routine is important. She gazes at her reflection in the tiny pool of rainwater collected in a nook on the wall. Today, the worm is mine, she repeats, each time with more and more intensity. 
She spreads her wings wide and screams, I am quicker than quick. I am a sharp-eyed robin. I am one with the meadow. With the flutter of her wings, Bella blasts from her nest. The great oak's leaves rustle with gentle applause. Bella watches the world stretch out before her. It's a canvas of green, punctuated with splashes of colour from wildflowers. The morning dew reflects glints of sunlight. She takes in their beauty, but is laser-focused on her goal. Breakfast.